Hey guys, it's Mercedes, also known as .com here on the internet, and today, a little bit of a different location. Sorry, I'm kind of filming this intro and outro while giving my daughter a bath at the same time, so adult supervision, but also getting a little bit of work done. So, today's video, me and my oldest worked on today, and what we were doing is trying to figure out a way that we can... <laughs> sorry for all the water sounds in the background, guys. I'm sorry, but giggle for that um, but what we were working on today is an upcycle for a relatively well used product so if you guys know if you guys have because you probably know um, a Swiffer at home or we have a Bona mop and a Swiffer you know that they come with pre moistened pads so what do those pre moistened pads come in they plastic container with a lid. So join us in seeing how we upcycle this and let me show you what's in it. Okay guys, so this is my project right now. This is a container that we just got done using for our floor cleaner. Um, this Bona Express floor cleaning mat. We have two reusable mats, but we did buy a thing of these disposable ones just in case, and now they are gone. Um, we've had them for a year, so they were pretty dry. I had to use some of my own cleaner to um, do what I had to do with them yesterday, but now the container is empty, so I am going to, when I have both of my hands, because <laughs> I can't do this with one hand, um, I'm going to take this container, take off the rest of the peel that's on the inside because it's not a part of the lid as you guys can see it's just the peel um, and I'm going to wash it out completely I don't know if this will come off maybe this will come off if I can get this to come off I will take it off if not I'm half wondering if I want to ask my daughter if she wants to paint it so Mama, Mama. hi baby baby you baby. yep your beans I'll let the baby play with those right now because that's what she wants to play with. Your beans, your ah! sensory beans, your sensory bin. If anybody's wondering how she likes it, that is a clear right there of how she likes it. She loves playing with it. So I'll let her play with it for a little bit as I start this project. And so the next clip, I will come back and either this will be off or the whole thing will be painted. I'm going to attempt to have this all done today because I know exactly what I want to do with it right now. Okay, so this is the container after about two coats. We ended up putting on its third coat. Um, my daughter let it dry for about a minute, two minutes in between each coat. But in the end, it only ended up taking about three coats. We probably could have put on a fourth coat. Um, there are some little streakiness here and there on the container, but it doesn't matter because it's going to be in our hallway closet right now, which I will show you in a moment. But um, being able to upcycle these type of containers is really good because these plastics are, you know, they're kind of hard sometimes to know if they're a soft plastic or if your facility takes them or not. Um, you could always send them into like a TerraCycle program, but you can always reuse. Uh, that should be the first R. Um, these are a little bonus content here. These are a bunch of clothes from the yard sale that I had, and my mom actually came and picked them up. She picked up all of the baby clothes, all the baby things, and was able to give them to my sister in laws which we have two new babies. One is already here, and then one is due. I think any day now um, so they were able to go to loving homes that actually really really needed them um, I was going to donate them to our goodwill or savers but they made it into deserving hands anyway and here is where we put the um, container at it's in our hallway closet with the rest of our medical tech supplies that we buy all of the band-aids everything that you can see there um, and it fits perfectly, so we'll be doing this with another container once we get another empty container.
Okay, so really simple. That was all the clips I had. Um, all we did was we took the container. After it was done and emptied is we took it and washed it in the sink with some soap and water and everything to get it all nice and cleaned out so that it had no chemicals in it. The Bona was a natural chemical, but still it was a chemical and the Swiffer definitely has some sort of chemical in it for the, uh, the cleaning comp component. That's the word I was looking for, component. Um, but this is the uh, the outside of the Bona container now that it's all nice and painted. You guys saw my daughter painting in the one clip. So, And what we have decided to put in it is um, some excess medical supplies that we have in our medicine box. These are um, some extras that we've had. Uh, just getting over the years. Um, we are, of course, CNAs, so sometimes these things come home with us, but for the most part, we can get, get these at CVS, and for the most part, I think they have all come from CVS, uh, except for maybe this one that still has a little bit of wrapping, but also, when I got my next one on placed in my arm, they he also sent me home with a couple rolls because you do the pressure dressing, which is what these guys are, a lot of pressure dressing. So um, that is how we upcycled it. Our paint was the apple barrel paint that I've used before in videos. And I wanna say it only took like five, 10 minutes to dry in between um, coats and she put three coats on this. I see. Um, so yeah, so it took her three coats to do it, and it looks very nice, and we can see through the top, which is a win. Um, so yeah, so this is a good idea of stuff to do with the Swiffer containers, with the Bona containers, um, with any type of container like this with the clear lid, definitely you can give it a really quick upcycle, like I said, like a five minute craft. So, a true five minute craft, guys. So, I just threw away a, a uh, label that came off a toy just now. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that really short video. Um, thank you for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Give me a comment below, baby bubble noises, or uh, bubble, no bubble uh, emojis or anything, if you guys can hear all the splashy baby sounds in the background. Um, and if you're not already subscribed, I'd love it if you were to subscribe. It does say that the majority of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel, so if this content resonates with you, I would love a subscribe. Um, we are still on our road to stay at home, so our road to being a stay at home mom. So every like, every comment, every subscribe does help. So. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all for being here. And we'll see you guys in the next. Bye.